All right, going to be showing you guys how to use the 9to5 PGA DFS lineup optimizer to max enter your GPP contest if that's what you choose to do. If you wish to enter 20 lineups only, you can do that as well. This tool is available at 9to5 Sports for $10 a month. What you guys are about to see is going to be a sample video from the weekly write-up that I do, kind of breaking down my approach for that week. So this video is what is typically available on that write-up. So it's coming right from there. I just want to get this out to you guys. For you guys to make a choice to see if you guys you know want to use this tool on 9 to 5 sports so here we go let's get into it all right so i got the second installment of the mass entering kind of using the lineup generator there on 9 to 5 sports so i'm um, just quickly going it over uh this will be posted on the 9 to 5 page once i get done with this video pretty much but looking it over got a ton of core plays here got a ton of high exposure plays so i mean one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think that's the most i can remember where our top 10 picks are core plays or high exposure plays. It makes it an interesting week. We're going to have some high exposure there between the core high exposure plays and even the mid exposure plays. Those guys are all quality plays, quality GPP plays. Then we have just like GPP only plays there for the low exposure. Then the value plays, we're going to have to play some value plays. That's just how it's going to be this week, just because we are going to try to fit in a bunch of those studs, those core plays. So um, that's going to be kind of the process of that I go through to make these builds. So um, once again, I did kind of bite the bullet here and I did get Excel on this computer. So what we can do is we can download the CSV file. I'll pull that up. So let me see if it switches over here. I'm not sure if it will, let's see. There we go. So we got the Excel file here. So we got all the players there. I have another Excel file that I've already went through and did the adjustments there. And I'll pull that up here for you guys real quick as well. So here's that other Excel file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this data into that other um, export data sheet that we just downloaded. So this is all the projections and cut percentages that you saw on the cheat sheet there. So what I am going to do this week is I'm gonna actually gonna do it by cut percentages because I don't know, I just kind of feel more comfortable just basing my lineup optimizer off of players likely to make the cut because my goal is to get six for six. Now, if you guys want to do more of a GPP approach, I'm fine with that. You know, you just do it by fantasy points. And once again, you could adjust these the way that you guys see fit as well. You know, that's gonna be up to you guys what you want to do there. That's gonna be up to you guys. As you can see, for the most part, it is, you know, the cut likelihood is somewhat based off of their projected point scored so kind of goes hand in hand there so let's just go through here and you will see a couple of the players here have been added in recently so we'll go to the uh, document that we just downloaded here and we'll get that adjusted pasted in there so once again i am pasting in their percent likelihood because i feel more confident with that so now we go ahead and save this and then we should be able to import that. And now I just imported that back into the lineup builder. So there we go. We can see that we got our projections there. Now I actually am going to juice up John Roms a little bit because I really did not like um, the projection that <laughs> they gave him. I think he's going to be a solid play. So overall, let's just run this real quick to see what they get us just based off 100% max ownership, 20 lineups, we'll see. Let's do 40%. Oh, that's why. So it wasn't running because I had the NAs in there. Actually, Nick Hardy, I like a decent amount. Let's put him at 60. So yeah, that's one thing where the players that were Monday qualifiers, we got to get them something in there. Put Vincent Whaley as average point scored. So now it should work. Bump this back up to 100. Okay, so yeah, it's going to work this time. We'll just, you know, see the um, usage report that spits out here. So 100% uh, John Rom, Nick Hardy. So yeah, we're going to have to make adjustments there. But I really like Chris Kirk then, Justin Thomas, John Huff, Vincent Whaley. Yeah, we're going to adjust that as well. But overall, it pretty much spit out the all the players that we would want to be on this week in general. So 
Let's go through and actually let's dive into it a little bit more. So Nick Hardy, we're going to have to adjust that. I'm actually going to keep his projection the same, but I'm going to set his max ownership here to the 10%. And then, who was the other one? Vincent Whaley. We'll adjust that to 1% just for the fun of it. He has been playing decent this year, so there we go. So now overall we had this kind of how we want to. Let's just bump JT down to 30%, uh, Xander down to 35%, because I really want to mimic this. So I kind of want the core plays to be at 40%, and then... High exposure plays at like 30 to 35 percent. Like I feel good about the top 10 players this week. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Web, we'll do 45 percent. Actually, I'll leave Web the same. I'm only going to change the other players. So 25 for Hideki. Sanjay, we'll do 35. English will do 20. Palmer will do 15. Zaltoris, 15. Ricky will put him at 5. Gary, 5. Uh, Russell Unley, 15 there. Brian Harmon, like I said, I like him okay. Um, so we'll do that. Maybe 20% for Max Homa. Corey Connors, I, I like a decent amount. Carlos Ortiz, I, I want him in most of my builds there. We'll do 20% for Sam Burns. I'm actually going to bump up his projection a little bit there. Lower that to 10% then. Taylor Gooch, I don't mind. We'll bump up his projections a little bit as well, just to force him into it a little bit more. Hadwin, I don't mind. Do him at 5? Yeah, 5 feels right. 60% just to force that in there. Same thing with Grillo here, around 5%. Keep going. Let's see who else we got. Yeah, Pat and Kazire will do 20%. Then these other values, I'm going to do like 10, 10, Matt Jones, 5, 12? We'll do 12. Because we're going to be forced to play some of these guys. That's just how it's going to go. So we kind of have to just bite the bullet there. Fifteen? Don't feel good about that, but we'll see. And now that, for the most part, should be enough to make this work. We'll see. I'm still going to do 100% ownership just to see who it gets me, and then I'll do 40% ownership. So the top build just based off of that would be Rom Hardy. That makes sense. Whaley. They like Whaley for some reason. Whaley was forced into it. Hmm, we're going to have to adjust that, I think. But other than that, you know, it looks pretty solid overall as a whole just based off the 20. Um, let me just get Whaley out of there. Gone. So now we'll go back into the new builds. I'm going to do 40% here. See if that works. Okay, it works. And I'm already liking this a lot better. Um, Davis Riley surprisingly making an appearance there. I might have to take him out. I mean, not bad overall. Martin Laird at 20%. That's something I want to adjust. Davis Riley, 30%. Definitely don't want that. Charlie Hoffman, 40%. Don't want that. So those are just some things that we can adjust out. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So Hoffman, take him out. Actually, we'll max ownership five. Laird, I actually don't mind Laird a ton this week. Obviously, this is based off his likelihood to make the cut, so I don't mind it, but I don't want to go out of my way to get him, put him at 5%. That's, who was the other guy? Oh, yeah, Davis Riley. Davis Riley is another one where I could see him holding GPP upside, but I don't want to go crazy with that. We'll put him at 5% too, just because it, it decently liked him, so I don't want to go crazy with it. We'll run this again 40%, and then we'll try to do like 100. So, yeah, much better this time around as a whole. I feel pretty good about this one as well. If I was just trying to do 20 entries, I'd feel you know pretty solid about this. Really forcing in 
the players that we're seeing. So core plays, they all got over 40%. Um, except for Daniel Berger, and Daniel Berger is the one I like the most. Cameron Tringali, definitely a little bit too much. That'd be one thing I'd want to adjust here. Um, but he's a you know decent GPP play. And same thing with Wyndham Clark. Um, Wyndham Clark's just down there a little bit more. Would want to adjust him out to right around you know five percent. And that's something I can do right now. So who is it? Wyndham Clark and Tringali. All right, so Cameron Tringali. Let's do. He is a, I mean, he is a decent GPP play. We'll do 15%, and then who was the other one? I'm already forgetting. Cameron Tringali and oh, Wyndham Clark. Ten, sure. So now we're going to try 100 to see if that works or not. We'll see. I mean, it should. All right, so we got it. Let's see, just ownership levels here. Actually, I'm just going to click at the top. View player usage report. And that's pretty good. We got down pretty much the way that we'd want it to. Um, I feel pretty good about this overall as a whole. Uh, it's definitely bringing a lot more players, and this is something that I could go through, you know, lot, or player by player and kind of just edit that out. But our, it's already pulling in to, to optimize based on percent likelihood to make the cut. So overall, I actually play, feel pretty good about this. We have a bunch of quality builds here. For 100 lineups, we're factoring that variance a little bit more than we would with you know 20 lineups. So really, overall, this is not bad. Um, run it one more time at 45% and 150, and then I'll do 20 one more time just based off of the little edits that we just made. It better get burger to 45% here. Obviously, when you're max entering like this, having small ownerships to someone at Two, in two lineups out of 100, that's not going to hurt you really that much. You're just kind of factoring in a little bit of variance in there. So it actually didn't work at 45% ownership because I already adjusted a lot of the ownerships there. So it couldn't meet that threshold. It should work for 40%. It'll be close, I think. Yeah, so it worked. That makes sense. Because for a lot of the players, I already reached, had reached that threshold. I gotta get used to clicking that button at the top. So yeah, overall, it kind of really spreads it out a little bit more on this one with 150, but it's really starting to gear it up the way we would want it to. So you know, this is very solid as well. I'll run 20 real quick again, and then get out of here. So 20 will do 50% though. <laughs> a lot more fast there. All right, so yeah, John Ron, 50%. Carlos Ortiz, 50%. John Ha, 50%. So Daniel Berger, I'd want to juice up a little bit, and I'll, I'll just do that real quick, actually. I hope that doesn't hurt webs too much. No, that's still pretty solid. And I feel pretty good about that as well. But overall, it's kind of going to be the mass entering lineup process for this week. All right. Thanks, guys. Let's have a good week.